So this is my Midori Travels Notebook and this is my Chic Sparrow personal sized uh, is it creme classic. Um, all right, so these guys here, I pop them both in. Now I have actually been using them entirely differently. Surprisingly, I actually am using the Midori Traveler's Notebook more than the Chic Sparrow. Now to talk about the leather between the both, I prefer the leather of the Chic Sparrow to this guy. However, what I'm, and now I think this was just the particular one I purchased. This Chic Sparrow, I have six books in, as well as some plastic pockets. And it's still a little bit floppy. Now here's my issue with this. I would rather carry, what have I got in here? One, two, three, I've got four books. In my Midori Traveler's Notebook, I've got four books. Now that's more than enough for me to carry. So this one has a diary in the front, um, booklet just for research notes when I'm on the run, booklet for these for my planning um, channel when I'm on the run, and just my art and journal. I am noticing after a month of using these on and off, I prefer the size of the booklets in the Midori Travels Notebook. But now here's my issue is, the size of these notebooks, I've tried making these ones myself and I really am not good at it. I, and so I've decided that I would rather just pay someone else to make them for me and I'll just buy them. However, this lovely little Sheik's Barrow, these books, I can make quite easily. Now, not I don't do the best job in the world. As I've mentioned in a previous video, um, I couldn't get the staples even if I stapled it the other way. So I've got the actual bumpy bits of the staple coming out this way. I fix that by just popping some washi tape here so it looks quite purposeful because it looks like I've intentionally got that tape there as something pretty. However, I just can't make myself stick with this size at the moment. Now that doesn't mean it's not going to be used that way, but for now, it's not getting the use that I thought it would get. Um, my hope is to actually turn this, potentially I'll have a go at turning it into my purse. My main issue that I've noticed with booklets versus anything with rings, for me personally, is if I'm somewhere and I need to take a quick note in rings, because I have the scrap paper in the back of this, I am very comfortable simply making any note that I need to and simply tearing it out and giving it to someone. That does not phase me whatsoever. And I do a lot of that and I've got so much paper for rings, it's ridiculous. Um, this I'm very comfortable with and it's surprising how often I actually need to do that. So I'll be somewhere, need to write down some details for someone, I just rip it out and give it to them. My issue, when I tried to actually use either of these uh, in the same way that I use my rings, I cannot bring myself for love nor money to rip out a page. So I found when I needed to take notes, I'm scrounging around, praying that I've either got post-it notes on me or writing things on the back of an envelope or on the back of a napkin, rather than simply using the tools that I have. So for me, that means that this is actually falling down a bit for me. Now, surely I can retrain myself because making these costs me practically nothing. It's some paper, a little bit of card and some staples. So I, there should be no issue to me ripping out part of a page if I need to. But for some reason, I just simply can't bring myself to rip pages out of a book. I hope that I get some help and can actually get past that because I actually really like carrying these around. It's nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave a like or leave some comments down below and I will talk with you later. Thank you very much.